man, I don't know why people come to me like I'm the fix it guy. Like, man, I, come come to me when you got a strong hairline, bro. Like, dang, man, I gotta go home and just <sighs> hopefully relax. Hey, ain't ain't the Warriors playing the Lakers today? That should be a good game. Wait, wait, damn. Is this a barbershop? Yeah, we closed. We closed. No, wait, no, no, no. Listen, listen, I need a cut. I know y'all about the clothes. No, I'm, I was just about to wrap everything up right now. I know it's dark outside. It ain't got nothing to do with being dark outside, bro. You wanna go home to your wife or your lady, whoever you got at home, okay? Your dog, whatever. Listen, I need a cut, okay? Sir, I got a wedding going on tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? My mom's getting married to my grandpa. You know what I'm saying? I need to be there. I'm supposed to rob this jewelry store, all right, at 2 a.m. tonight in the morning, okay? I gotta walk my cat to the dog park? All together, I just got a lot of stuff going on that you won't be able to understand. Do you have time to cut me or not? I don't have time. I don't have time, bro. Nah, you say you don't, but I know you do. You ain't got nothing to do that's more important than this haircut. No, I'm sorry. Well, you could, you could go up the street. There's, there's, and I know, I know, there's other barbershops in town that you could go to. Listen, I'm not going to no other barbershop. They all closed. Sir, this is the only one I could find. No, this is not the only one, sir. That was open before. Sir. Yeah, so you got me, right? No. 20 bucks? $20? What do you usually charge? I usually charge 60. 60 is too much. Sir, please. No. Please. No. Please, sir. No. Have a heart. No. Please. No. Please. Get out of my shop! Back with another banger, right? Today we got an OG. You know what I'm saying? Kind of a waiver, but not really a waiver. He did come in with a durag on, you know what I'm saying? So listen, we're going we just gonna you know, you know what I'm saying? We're just gonna say that he like to lay his hair down. So before I get into this tutorial, um, you know what I'm saying? CT Barber is CT Barber Expo is coming up. Dang, I can't talk for nothing. CT Barber Expo is coming up, man. If you guys are coming, I listen, I just want to tell you this. You guys need to be ready to you need, just come to learn, okay? I need you to come to learn. I need you to come ready and prepared to talk to anybody that you look up to, to network with these businesses that's going to be there. And uh, anybody you see there, you need to try to talk to them, figure out what they do, figure out who they know, um, just so you can get yourself in conversations that you would never be in, and you know, conversation that you you don't you won't know can set you up for life. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people that I talked to last year has set me up for life now you know what i'm saying like you need to start valuing your relationships but you have to go to these events to create them you know what i'm saying ct barber Expo is the biggest one so if you guys are coming make sure you come ready to learn and ready to talk to these people that's going to be there because if you're just there you're going to miss out i promise you you're going to think it's boring you're going to think it's trash because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing but if you go there with the right mindset you're talking to the right people you come and ready to learn you got your money to spend on some more on some supplies you know what i'm saying I don't, I don't say come for that but you do want to get some new supplies it's just it's just part of the barber game you want to get new stuff and motivate you to do better but that i'm done rambling about that band but i just know it's gonna be super lit this year i will drop that vlog i think i'm gonna drop that vlog on the main channel we'll see what happens but um yeah so to get into this tutorial first thing i did was take it with the two guard it wasn't cutting off anything so i used the one guy open uh brushed it back down with my soft wave brush now i'm just getting into my taper did my ball guideline the lever open the one guard open the two open and then i closed the lever on the two guard came back down with the one guard now i'm using my zero close right now just to take out that middle guideline and as you guys can see when i put in that lever open guideline 
um it did cut like really like it didn't even look like it was hair there you know what i'm saying you guys have to be aware that the hair is there you just it's just super light you know what i'm saying this this is how my hair cuts actually um when you do a lever open on, on my hair you really can't see it you know what i'm saying you gotta look real hard or you just have to memorize where it was at okay so you guys are going to come up against different textures that are going to react differently to clippers and blades and uh you just got to be able to adjust so after i did my zero guard close i took my lever open just to detail it then i used my lever close at the bottom of the taper and now i'm facing the client slightly towards me just so i can see the taper better i switched my clipper for a different different perspective before i start doing my detail work and that's basically the steps i do to get the cleanest taper possible on um basically all my clients so yeah guys when you guys are doing your haircuts make sure you do look at it from a different angle switch your clippers just so you can get a better um understanding of how to get blurry a blurrier taper than it already is so now i'm doing the back and um, i didn't got i didn't see these bumps until after i got into the taper my guess is it's from the do-rag and the moisture because um he did have a do-rag on so that's the only guess i can have unless he went to you know a bad barber well, not a bad barber i just went i just want to say unsanitary i should say that unsanitary unsanitary barber dang i can't talk for nothing jesus christ Ooh, thank god y'all love me for other stuff because boy i cannot speak <laughs> But yeah, man, I'm doing the same exact steps in the back taper. But yeah, like I was saying, man, these bumps either come from do-rag um, and moisture or just an unsanitary barber. Um, now that he has me, I'm pretty sure he's going to come back because he did love the cut. The cut was crazy. You got to see his son in the back. I gave his son a clean cut too. But um, yeah, so it's going to clear up a little bit just because I know how to take care of skin. But um, client, if you're watching this, I recommend going to a dermatologist just so you can uh perfect the back and my client was cool with me posting the video i did make sure to ask him before i posted it so you guys don't have to jump on me in the comments so now it's time for the lineup um i did i always lower the lineup areas okay so i did a one guy open on this whole head so i'm going i did a one closed um on this behind the ear lineup before i lined it up and i use rubbing alcohol on every part of the lineup okay so Wherever your trimmers or razor is going to be touching, use rubbing alcohol first. Trust me, it makes a huge difference, okay? If you guys have tried it out, let me know in the comments and let me know how it worked out for you. I'm just keeping it natural as possible, still giving it a good shape. Because you don't want to push it back to get a good shape because then his haircut is going to... He's going to need another haircut in the next couple of days because this neckline does grow fast. As you guys can see, everything I do to the rest of the haircut, I do to the beard as well. Fading system is the same, and so is the lineup system. So you guys see, I'm using the rubbing alcohol, like I said. I do use this on the whole head, not just the front part. Um, it just basically prepares the skin to use the hairspray. It allows the hairspray to sit, you know, to really dry out the skin better. Um, and it also allows the enhancements to last longer too, because you're putting it on... Um, a clean dry hairline now it's time for the hairline and uh my client has that hairline that kind of you know sits on top of his head so you have to use your trimmers at a certain angle these type of lineups are not easy for people that don't know what they're doing or don't have that much experience or simply just don't have the vision some but some barbers just don't have the lineup vision that they need to um to accomplish like a lineup like this you know what i'm saying and it's not a bad thing you know it takes people some barbers longer than others to get it but uh if you do it you know what i'm saying practice and you really want to get it you're going to end up getting it okay so i'm just trying my best to make sure it's, it's symmetrical to his head shape because he doesn't have you know like the average you know regular hair head shape and that's not me talking about my client i just need to make sure you guys understand what i'm talking about um so i'm saying it in barber terms uh, some of y'all be saying in the comments, I'll be roasting my clients, man. I don't be roasting my clients. I just try to say it to where a, a, a beginner barber can understand why I'm doing what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? And all my clients are cool with me putting them on the camera. 
and they're cool with what I say. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> y'all got y'all got to chill with the conversation. <laughs> so my guy did not. Um, I did ask him, did he want enhancements? He didn't really know what they were, but he I was, he was like, what does it do? I said, it basically just make it more crispy than, than it already is. He was like, okay, cool, let's try it out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he did like the cut. He did like the enhancements. Um, this was my first time cutting them, so we'll see if he asks for it again. We'll see if he don't. But uh, this cut came out super duper clean. It was clean before enhancements. And you guys are going to see how crazy clean it is after. So right now I'm just lining up his mustache. I did leave it a little bit thicker than I would on a regular person. Just because the beard line is going to be so high. So I kind of want them to connect a little bit. But his mustache was like super bushy. So he cut it down um, a little bit more than his natural mustache line. Just because we don't want it to look super bushy on his face. We don't. We want it to look like he has a fresh cut. So I'm using my razor. And when you guys use this, make sure you use your razor at a 45 degree angle. Stretch the skin, but don't overstretch it, okay? But you do want to stretch the skin and uh, just go slow if you're not used to using the razor. Just make sure you go slow, take your time, and um, you know what I'm saying? Just stay patient. Right now I'm doing the beard line. I did use a little bit of hairspray on the beard just to get that super crispy ass line. And you guys can see I'm kind of stretching and going, stretching and going. Just make sure I get that shape that I want before I use the enhancements. Now we're using the enhancements on the beard. Um, you don't want to cover up them grays. I was kind of just spraying on the black hair um you know what i'm saying so it could look uh, more natural you guys are gonna see when when when, when he's done with the, this cut is gonna be crispy i'm telling you the beard line is on point the edge is on point the tapers look perfect i'm telling you man this cut this cut is one of the ones i'm telling you you guys can see how i'm taking my time i put this one in real time you guys can see how i'm taking my time just stretching that skin using the razor at a 45 degree angle um, this is a Crispy Lines Turkish Razor, if you guys want to cop them, um, the link is in the description. Everything that I use is in the description, even all the way down to the clothes that I wear. So, you guys ever see uh, like a cool shirt that I got on, um, some custom trimmers or clippers that I'm, I'm using, 9 times out of 10 there is a link for it in the description, all you have to do is click on the title and it'll pop up. So this is what OG came in looking like, man, my boy came in with the big beard. Wanted to cut that mustache down. Simple way of cut taper. And this is the cut, man. Y'all see how crispy it is, man. Look at that taper. is super blended. Back taper is blended. Beard line on point. Mustache on point. This cut is one of the ones. If you guys have learned anything from this video, please let me know in the comment section below. Get that comment section busting, man. We need 10% of the views. So if you're watching this right now, I know my A1 Day 1 supporters still be watching. I need y'all let me know in the comments. You know what I'm saying? That y'all still here. Because I don't be knowing if y'all still here or not. But I'll see y'all in Connecticut. I'm out of here, man. Some more bangers in the way. Because y'all know me. Only drop bangers consistently, alright? I'm out. Deuces.